Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're doing Suicide Squad Coasters and that was suggested by Chantel Colbreth. I'm going to just go on the record right now. I know nothing about the Suicide Squad, so I had to do a little research. And every image that I looked at and everything I read about it, it was very dark and kind of gritty and dirty and maybe a little depressing. So that is what I'm going to try to make happen. Yes, this is going to be transparency film. For those of you who prefer not to see the transparency film coasters, um, be sure that you put suggestions in for different kinds of coasters that you would like to see um, so we can expand the creativity a little bit. So keep suggesting them if you want to see them. If you want to see something else, be sure you put those ideas in the fishbowl as well. For the Suicide Squad, we're going to do two coasters. I'm going to do just a little bit of experimenting and I'm just going to use some pigment powder. I have a soft brush. I'm going to just sort of rub some pigment powder along the back. I just want it to have a little bit of a dirty look instead of the stark white. I don't know if this will work, but there's really only one way to find out. So I'm going to rub it along the edge too. Now I am going to use my fast cast and I'm using that because it's fast and there's nothing more convenient than that. So I'm going to do two ounces. It'll be one and one and this stuff sets up like crazy fast. Now I'm going to just pour some into both. And then we just let it sit and it cures like in 15 minutes or so and it turns white. This stuff has cured. Now I'm going to add um, some Mod Podge and a little bit more of that gray pigment powder that I used on the bottom and it's a metallic. It's actually it's actually an antique silver. I'm going to put some in with the Mod Podge, mix it up. And I'm going to just go around and give it a little bit of a dirty edge. And with a paper towel I'm going to just sort of blot it I want to kind of keep it out of the center if I can. I've printed the images on transparency film and now I'm going to cut them out. And I'm, I need to go around a couple of times, make sure it cuts through. There's Harley Quinn. Now we got to do the Joker. And I'll have links to the coaster mold, the cutter, and everything in the description below in case you're looking for it. Okay, now I've mixed two ounces of Easy Cast, and I'm going to pour a thin layer into each of these molds. I'll take my lighter, pop the bubbles, and I will take the Joker and I will slide him right on in. Press it down, and you want to press the bubbles out. Now, when I cut these transparency films, I do it to just under four inches because the diameter is four inches and that allows any bubbles to be pressed out from underneath so they don't get trapped. Okay, once you have all the bubbles pressed out from under, you just want to hit it with your lighter again and then you just want to let them cure a minimum of 12 hours. The coasters have cured, so we can pull them out and see how they turned out. So here is the back of the Joker, and it's just dirty looking, which is what I was hoping for. None of it rubs off because it becomes embedded in the resin. So it just looks like some dirty, smeared up kind of thing. And it turned out really exactly as I wanted it to. I wanted it to look like the edges were just dirty. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I hope you guys are too. And then here is Harley Quinn. The hers looks all smeared and dirty too. And there are the sides. They have that same kind of look. And here's the front. So I hope you like the way they turned out, especially you fans of Suicide Squad. And I hope that you like that we tried something a little bit different with a pigment powder, just putting it right onto the mold and then pouring the resin in there. So that was a little bit of a different twist. So even if Suicide Squad isn't your thing, it doesn't mean that you can't like the coasters. And it doesn't mean that you can't try to apply a technique to something that you might be trying to make. So it's time for the fishbowl. Remember, if you want your idea added to the fishbowl, you need to add it to the most recent coaster video. And if you want to see more creative ideas, then be sure to add them. D from Delightful Company. 
broken jewelry or costume jewelry coasters. That is what I'm doing next week, so be sure to come back and see that. While you're here, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And if you are creating anything, I would love to see what you're doing over on my Facebook page, and that is facebook.com slash craftclotch1. Don't forget the one behind Craft Clutch. So thank you guys for watching, and remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.